Welcome back to my Elite Dangerous. Jameson Crash Site Encoded Material Gathering. Yeah, my channel has kind of gone through a transformation. It's because of the lack of support from the viewers. We've gone more to uh, just a tag along. And uh, we're doing the things that I see that helps my gameplay and helps my, you know, my way of playing. We're going to continue that for a while. If we ever get more interest in our uh, YouTube channel, then we will maybe go back to uh, where it's viewer oriented. this full. So we just sit here and kind of see the spot that I'm in. I can hit all the beacons. Pretty soon we'll probably start running out of inventory space for a couple of them like the adaptive encryptor captures and the archives. We'll start running out. to replace the materials that we uh, used up for our burst lasers and some pulse lasers. We still need to do some work on the pulse lasers, but we're still beginning area of combat. It's not my strong suit. Sisful. Be sure to press that subscribe button. That's what we need. We have gotten a few more than we had about a month ago. So it's a little bit better. But not close to what we actually need to get support from YouTube. So we're still doing pre-release videos. If uh, you subscribe or donate to join our Patreon, you'll get access to those. Or put uh, Tritium into the fleet carrier. But with my come along, you get to see what frustrates me, what I like, what I don't like. All those things. No games perfect. I really do like No Man's Sky and Subnautica, but we just can't get the views on them that we need to support doing more videos. Sisful. Now Frontier said that they did up 
the uh, the return on tritium at hot spots so at some point we might try it just to see but I was never really that great at it anyway it just works better for me to find discounted tritium locations and just go there and load up Frontier did double the efficiency of tritium so it, tritium will take you twice as far as it would before so that's that's pretty awesome I do appreciate that see I've got like close to 19,000 tons right now total of tritium and since they keep uh, improving the efficiency is this full then that pretty well works for me I, d I would hate to have to pay regular price or 40,000 a load or uh, a ton since I've been paying 4,000 a ton lately the last several fill ups so hopefully I can find more normally I've been seeing them on weekends but I haven't seen them yet so we'll just have to keep watching we have plenty it's not like we're in a situation we need to go spend 40,000 we could probably go a month or two without needing to get see the adaptive captures description captures that have filled up so pretty soon we'll go to collecting raw material here at uh, Jameson crash site or near the crash site we'll do a few more before we go back to COs I do want to try out those burst lasers that we added to our vulture and kind of make a plan for the future uh, upgrades of the vulture is this full? it's been a good little fighter for my level of combat it's worked pretty good But I don't think I can get to elite status anyway. You know, I would like to get to the expert status. I think that's the next one. Then master, then dangerous, then elite. Something like that. Now we are seeing that full indicator more often. See how far we are. Is this right? Is this right? Yep, that's the wrong one. I want to be over here. The adaptive encrypted captures are full. And we're at 114 of 150 on the atypical encryption archives. So we'll give it a couple of more times and then we'll close out this portion and do some uh, raw material gathering here around Jameson. this fall is 
see it showing full about every time. So we're, we collect a few, like that modified consumer firmware. So we're collecting a little bit, but uh, not nearly as many. Okay, so that's probably it for here. Let's check on the time. So we'll go run around and collect some raw materials. See where we were parked. That's a good place to park. So we're going to look for raw materials. The problem is the ship will get in the way and the Jameson crash site will get in the way. Sis ship. So we'll dismiss the ship to get it out of the way where we, because the upper level signal will cover up the lower level si signals. Now we have had luck going toward the ring planet or to the right side of it and then back to the right. When it's uh, bright outside we could have got in the ship and moved to the brighter side. We'll stay here for this video and then maybe one of the times we'll go to the brighter side and try it out. I think it's a pretty good planet to do raw material gathering. So far we don't have much raw materials to go after. And that's Jameson over there. There's a little bit over here that we might can go after. But I like making the rounds to Dav's Hope and Jameson crash site. Do you like the planetary exploration where we uh, go for the raw materials? Because I'm still sure there's some, maybe the hull reinforcements for the uh, vulture, but I don't get into extreme combat situations. Sometimes I have to go back to the fleet carrier when doing bounty hunting and let the uh, shields regenerate before I go out again. Because I'm only doing uh, regular res sites, not doing high or hazardous. Hazardous is where you get no help from security forces. Low is probably the easiest. Because it uh, kind of assures that all of your uh, enemies will be under your rank. And they're usually in high security systems. So uh, you get plenty of uh, security help. Oh, 
don't know how far it is, if it's on the other side of the cliff or on this. It looks like it's at the bottom. Yeah, I think we can go down here. It's not a pure drop off. Keep looking for that uh, that polony polonium polonium that we found at Jameson crash site, which has been around for a while. I just hadn't seen it. See if we can find some more raw material. There's a little bit over here. Looks like it might be a little ways away. side of this cavern. See if we can find some over here. But I've revamped my channel where it's more of just supporting my gameplay until we get more support, which doesn't look like we're going to, so it'll just be supporting my gameplay. But I do have a two two elite statuses, one in trade, one in explorer. I have a fleet carrier, I have four cutters and four pythons and seven billion in in credits and so something must have gone right. Pattern down. To collect credits and work on my uh, combat rating, even though I'm not really a combat pilot gameplay. I do pretty much just play solo. I don't care much for open and being shot at by human players that find me as an easy target. And I'm just not really into that. NPCs are bad enough and I think I'll just stick with the NPCs. I don't, I'm not excited that when I do cargo missions I spend more time in escape vectors than I do delivering cargo. Spend more time being carjacked than going to the grocery store. I'm not really excited about that. A little more realism would be would be better for me. And the targeting can't stay on the target. So there's quite a few things I'm not extremely pleased about in this game that they could fix. That would make me enjoy it more, but I I am back to playing more Elite Dangerous than anything else. And, uh, on the other games you can really run out of things to do. Yeah, I could do the same things where you just tag along and I keep gathering materials, but I have ga gathered more than enough. In No Man's Sky I did get a living ship, and that's kind of interesting. I did one video on it might do more in the future. It's not quite as good as the manufactured ship. It's close, but not quite there. 
You know, we're starting to see more raw materials. But if I don't do videos, I get bored real fast. But if I'm kind of explaining what I'm doing and as I go along, I don't get bored quite as fast. So I'll probably keep making videos, it's just they might get less as time goes on. Now, if more of the viewers would uh, subscribe and and support our channel, it would be different, but I can't get enough support. And yeah, to those that will comment and say, well, just quit then. Well, I kind of have. <laughs> That's why these are come along videos and we have uh, pre-release videos. It's not the same channel. I don't take it quite as serious as I tried to at first. Because it's not as much fun doing YouTube videos anymore. For a while it was kind of fun, cause, well, because it was new. But because you can't get much support, then it gets less and less fun. Especially if you're creating over a hundred videos a month, putting all that effort, and no one cares, so you just make changes to where it doesn't matter. Like I always say, my channel is about me expressing the good, the bad, and the ugly about everything in the world of Elite Dangerous and YouTube and all of that. So. YouTube does not support their small content creators enough and they make it very difficult on them so that's why I never give YouTube a good review when it comes to YouTube channels because I don't think they support their smaller content creators enough I haven't seen any of that uh, Palladium here as I did at uh, Jameson not saying I really need it and we can move around materials at the material traders anyway so and it's not that huge of a deal I think I have like 57 and that's probably enough for what I need this ship I'm about ready to go back to Seos we'll see if we bring over the fleet carrier to pick us up or if we just go straight we'll check see how far it is based on how much fuel we have and in the ship well I appreciate those that do come along call technician so during the week I have at there's times I have time more than on the weekends sometimes she parks close and other times she don't <laughs> and I'm not real sure why well, there was plenty of open space over here didn't have to park so far away. But I do enjoy VR when it's working. The Oculus Rift S, there's times where it'll lose tracking four or five times a day. 
And then there's times it won't lose tracking for several days, so I don't understand that. My lighting's always the same. I've added a whole lot more lighting. And uh, so I'm usually confused about the problems. Is this down? First we'll see how far CEOS is. It says we're lawless because we're in an NRP system. So someone could kill us and they wouldn't get a bounty for, out on them for it. Sis night. Sis left. Just going to check out and see how far Seos is. How many jumps? I believe we have a fuel scoop on board too. Boy, 320 light years. It's a long ways away. It'd be at least 10 jumps. So we don't want to do that. So let's see here. Sis right. Sis right. Let's call the fleet carrier. To our location. We're currently right here. And so the carrier will be here in about 15 minutes. And then we'll take it to Sothis. We have 1.115 billion in the fleet carrier. I wish we could transfer fuel over to, but we can't. I don't think it even tells us how much fuel we have in it. Well, I appreciate you coming along. Be sure to uh, join us again for another video when we uh, hitch a ride on the fleet carrier and take it to CEOs and take the uh, vulture out for a bounty hunting trip just to see how it's doing. So until the next video, thank you for watching. Goodbye.